Hello folks, this is Sue Bell from Network Empire, and I'm here today to give you a quick demonstration of killer keywords from Network Empire. So, over the course of your marketing plan, you're liable to create many different product properties. You might have a wiki, a forum, a money site, and in this particular example, I want to look at the creation of a money site. So, to start with, I've drilled into a project here which is not quite on the screen cosmetic dentistry and I already pre-drilled it so it wouldn't take too much time and so as you can see there's a list of keywords here and we've got across the screen we've got Larry which is our proprietary algorithm that gives you an idea of how thematically relevant each one of these keywords are to the seed term we've got the number of searches as reported by Google these are daily searches we've got the broad cost per click the phrase cost per click the broad clicks per day the phrase click clicks per day competition the number of competing pages both in broad and phrase match the number of YouTube videos phrase match for that particular keyword as well as the number of times your competitors your top competitors have used this keyword on their pages so this gives you the basic data that you can use we can filter this data and, and kinda get an idea of what keywords we want to use and then in the pro and agency versions we can go a little bit deeper so let's just start by doing a quick filter here um, bring up the filter screen we've got a selection of filters that we can give a try we can look at the niche and you can see over here we've got a few keywords that come back for the niche filter we can take a look at highly relevant keywords and we've got a f quite a number of keywords that come back from that we've got a total of 531 keywords and 121 keywords came back for highly relevant so we might want to take a look at suggested silos which doesn't bring back any in this particular case or perhaps we want to look at tangent markets now these are keywords that are going to be tangentially related they are oftentimes provide you with good websites where you want to put advertising or ideas where you might want to put advertising for your products in this particular case let's try market domination or perhaps vertical markets alright so vertical markets brings us back some decent keywords that might be appropriate for a cosmetic dentistry website dental crowns um, family dentistry maybe not so much tooth implants dental surgery those kinds of keywords and so what I can do is I can select this entire list or I can select just a few and in this case just for the sake of expediency I'm gonna select all of them and I want to take a deeper look at this I want to go in and take a look at the profile uh, for our profit reports so I want to actually drill into a profit report. So this is going to be, um, let's just say site themes and our profit per sale on cosmetic dentistry. Our profit per sale is quite high. I'm going to go rather conservative at $5,000. I would say the profit is typically much higher than that. Conversion rate is probably a little bit on the lower side because cosmetic dentistry is quite an expensive proposition but our SERPs click through for somebody that's actually interested is probably going to be pretty decent I'm gonna say if I can get above the fold I probably get 30 percent of the traffic for any one particular keyword so with that in mind I'm gonna go ahead and generate my report if you're in doubt on any of those values you can just take the defaults and you can see what the results are and then you can tweak out the defaults later right here in the actions button you have the option to edit your business rules so you can go back and edit those things so that gives you the opportunity to take a look at what would happen um, if you had a higher click-through rate if you had a higher profit margin if you had a better conversion rate and you can kind of do a what-if scenario along those lines alright I'm gonna pause until this drill is done and then we'll be back alright so as you can see our drill is not quite finished yet but a lot of the data has already populated and we can already start to get a pretty good idea of what's going on here so I want to just um, I want to sort this by ranking difficulty we've got the keywords that we drilled into we've got the number of articles this is the average number of articles on the top five ab above the fold SERPs um, the competitors were averaging 
all the competitors above the fold. Um, and that just gives you an idea of how much content your competitors have. So if you want to compete head to head with them, then you're going to look at generating that much content in order to maintain the same kind of inbound linking structure that they've got. We've got ranking difficulty and we've got the estimated annual profit. And for me, it's the ranking difficulty and the estimated annual profit that are the meat of this screen. So as you can see here, you've got like if we sort here by ranking difficulty, then you can see we've got easy terms here at the top, but we've also not got a lot of dollars here at the top. So we've got a couple of things, family dentistry, that seems to be like a really good thing to go after. But as we start to get into the meat of what this actual topic is, which um, which is cosmetic dentistry, we really need to come down here into things like um, dental implants. We've got dental implant, which is very difficult. We've got dental implants, which is very difficult. But you can also see that there is where a lot of the money is. And you've got teeth whitening. That's typically not a, uh, a cosmetic dentistry term. Um, but we could take a look at one of those. But if we want to see like how difficult is it very difficult in reality, you've got uh, 838 and 490. We could just take a look at both of these and drill into those into a deep inspection to see how truly difficult they are. So we're going to take those two, we're going to drill those, and we'll be back in a second to look at the results. All right, so those are some pretty quick drills. And as you can see, I've got the green circles on two of these. So we're going to take a look at the top one, dental implants, and just see where we're at with these. So the graphics at the top, we've got a bunch of people up here in the upper right. That's not a good sign. Um, we've got a pretty consistent um, volume, except for February. And then down here, where we can actually look and see how difficult it's going to be to actually rank for these things. We've got a rank authority in the 40s and in the 50s, which is not anything easy. Domain quality, the inbound link quality on all of these things is really high. And, uh, you know, I would say it's this bottom one here with only 72 relevant pages on site. You might be able to get into that um, is maybe... Mm, Oh, Wikipedia, dental implants. That's just, that's like a really tough market. It truly is a tough market. Um, so let's just take a look at the data behind the data. We can see the domain authority. We can see the page authority. We can see the trust flow, the citation flow, referring domains. We might be able to glean a little bit more information off of some of these things. I'm not quite so interested with the on-page factors at the moment, so I can get rid of those. On-page factors help a lot as I go to actually create the pages, but when I'm trying to determine whether or not I can crack into this, I want to take a look at this data here. So now that I can see things like the numbers of backlinks to Wikipedia, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Um, the numbers of backlinks to these other sites, mouthhealthy.org, um, dental implants, the number of referring domains, it's a much smaller number of referring domains than backlinks and IPs. Um, so, wow, but they, they do have uh, a really good trust to citation flow. So, you're going to need some very high quality, some very strong backlinks there. You're going to need a good number of backlinks. This is not going to be an inexpensive keyword to rank for. So now you've got a pretty good idea of the quality that's involved in order to be able to rank, and you can decide whether or not, one, you can actually do that kind of link building, or whether you can hire to have that link building done and, uh, and crack into that market. So you can see that this gives you a really good overview on exactly what you're up against in terms of being able to rank for that particular keyword and make the money that was estimated on the other screen. Of course there's a lot of other nuances that you're going to want to read into this tool. We've got a full um, a full university style course laid out that walks you through both a quick start and a more in-depth training. Um, so we look forward to seeing you on the inside.